back during the early days when uh, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic started airing, there was a gr group of people on the internet who found themselves starting to get enthusiastic about this new TV show. Only thing is, this group of people were men. Much like your, what you're feeling right now, uh, they too were disillusioned by the idea that they could possibly be into this uh, TV show for little girls. So they uh, came up with the name Brony as a form of empowerment because names are awesome. The popular misconceptions about bronies because they're into a TV show for little girls, they must be pedophiles, they must be homosexuals, and uh, they must be really creepy old men. If you actually went to uh, a uh, My Little Pony convention, you will notice that there is a healthy mix of male and female fans, as well as families there. But the idea for Brony Fanfare came about um, in the form of an April Fool's joke. Prior to uh, coming up with the idea, I'd been working for the largest anime convention in town, in Austin, and there was one show where my superior couldn't find anybody to help him out with. Uh, I somehow uh, managed to find the time to help, go help him out. The day afterward was April Fool's Day, April 1st, and I had this crazy idea. So I was like, hey, what if we made, we rebranded your convention as a My Little Pony convention for April Fools. And he was like, okay. So I uh, took a screenshot of uh, Ponyville, slapped the logo across it, the anime convention logo across it, and rebranded them as a My Little Pony convention. And we posted it up on their Facebook page. And uh, we got a lot of response from it. That happened and my uh, superior was like, hey, what if you did make a My Little Pony convention? And I was like, hey, that's a good idea. We have our, had our first convention on September 8th through the 9th. It was a two-week convention. Over 900 people showed up, despite the fact that we had no voice actors from the actual TV show. The, it was obvious to us that this was something that people wanted. This year, we're expecting about 1,500 people. We're now a three-day convention, and we have uh, two voice actors who have had roles in the TV show. I don't, I don't think anybody can say that I haven't worked really hard on this convention and I'm really glad that it shows. I was raised with the that um, like the only achievements in life worth anything are like the ones you get in school and to me uh, growing up with that, so, with that sort of upbringing uh, makes you always makes you want to try to impress somebody. When I get compliments from people, I'm, I'm really glad I get the recognition for that. But also at the same time, I feel like it's still not enough. At the very least, people can expect me to continue what I do and continue to uh, entertain them, um, provide them with a sense of belonging and uh, friendliness, community things like that. I, I'm going to continue doing this as long as I can. Um, it's probably not sustain sustainable for uh, a single life on my own, but um, I'm going to do what I can to keep going.